Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. So for this week's video, I know it's a little late since it is like mid-April now, but I want to do a fashion favorites video or like a monthly favorites video. Just talk about some pickups, items I've been wearing a lot recently, and then go over some movies I've watched recently and then finish off the video with some music favorites. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So for the first topic, I want to show you guys some jewelry that I got recently. I don't really talk about jewelry too much in this channel. Although I am a really, really big fan of jewelry, I just don't really feel like I have a solid understanding like how to put pieces together or like where to get good pieces. But I did get a few new jewelry pieces and I've been wearing them a lot and they are really, really cool. The first one, as you guys might have noticed, is around my neck. So this right here is an Alix Hero Chain. However, this one has been customized by my good friend Gleb Costin. I've talked about some of his jewelry pieces in the past, um, like way, way back. Like, probably like in 2018, like late 2018. Um, but he made me this amazing, amazing necklace. I'll have some B-roll up on the screen or just some photos, like up close photos. But just as a quick rundown, this necklace released a few months back and they sold out instantly. Resell was like over $2,000. Like whenever a necklace was posted for like two grand, it sold that day. Ridiculous. I think retail was 675. However, the necklace that was released was aluminum plated in silver. Aluminum is super cheap, very, very lightweight. If you guys have one of those necklaces, you probably know that the quality isn't too great. It's kind of hard to believe that Alix skipped out in terms of quality and they went with aluminum. I know that the Alix Hero necklaces that were customized and sent out to a bunch of influencers, those are not aluminum. I've worn one of them before. I wore Playboy Cardis for a whole day and it was not aluminum, I can tell you guys that. I believe they released in two colorways, a silver colorway, with a Nike check and a smiley face. And then I think the other one had a Nike check. It had like the 1017 9SM. And then also had, and I think that one had a heart, but I could be wrong. I'll have some photos on the screen for you guys so you understand what it looks like. But this necklace right here is completely customized and rebuilt out of silver. So this thing is 100% sterling silver. It's extremely, extremely heavy. It has all the same mechanisms, has the classic mini leaks. Uh, like clasp thing, I forget what they're actually called. The roller coaster belt has one that has a mini one, snaps in place just like that. Same exact thing as the Elite's one, just made entirely out of silver. Has all the springs and mechanisms and also has the laser etching. And then going down the pendants has the classic Elite's logo. And then on the other side of the necklace, it has the 1017 Elite's 9SM uh, like ID pendant thing. It's like on a lot of ID bracelets. And on the back side, it has underdog right there. And then where we got to have a little bit of fun is these other two pendants. Now we went through, we went back and forth for a while, like trying to figure out exactly what we want to do, but we ended up going with these two custom pendants right here. So I'll talk about this one first. This right here is the Colette Hyatt logo, which is my personal brand. This is like the family seal type thing. Really, really cool. The mold was made from a computer print and then he cast it in silver. The vine decoration on the outside is all on the same plane. And then the C in the middle is raised, like it's a little bit thicker. And the other pendant was completely hand sculpted. I sent Gleb a picture of a tattoo. I'll have the tattoo on screen for you guys. And I was at, and I asked him if he was able to make that same design, but in a 3D silver pendant. And he absolutely nailed it. Hopefully you guys are able to catch some of the details there. But this pendant is so nice. He took a 2D image of a tattoo and then made it into a 3D image, which is just kind of mind blowing. And then also like works perfectly with the Cuban link. You guys can see that it links up perfectly. You guys can kind of see that the two dogs were like taking a bite out of each other. I believe this image was originally a kind of like a collage of two different dog images because I was trying to find the actual source of the picture and it looks like it was just two images stitched together, which is still very, very cool and I really like how that looked because this one is just so much better because it's obviously something that only I will have. I posted a photo of this necklace on my Instagram like last week and Gleb told me that he had a lot of requests to make more of these and just so you guys know, he does not want to make any more of these. That is a lot of work. So please do not message him anymore about that. Yeah, I've been wearing this necklace a lot. I normally like to stack necklaces but I feel like with this piece, you can really only wear just this at a time. You don't want to layer it because this is already really thick, a lot of different pendants going on and then having more stuff hang down. 
I don't really like that look. Now the next few items are from a brand called The Silverstone, which is a jewelry brand, and they have graciously supplied me with a few of their new items. I have one in my ear right here. This is the feather earring, and I have the other one right here. When you buy them, it comes in a set of two, obviously, but um, I decided to go for the asymmetrical look. I have one of my normal earrings right there, and then I have the Silverstone feathers right there. This one right here has three pendants on it. It has a feather, and then a bigger feather, and then it has a little like silver tab that has um, the brand's logo on it and this one just has the two pendants so I decided to go with the three pendant one obviously since that just looks better in my opinion I think they were hand sculpted and then molded and it has a really nice um, like polishing effect to it because it has um, some black detailing in between the little crevices really nice pendant and then they also sent me the feather necklace too which has the same exact pendant so it's just got two feathers and then it comes in this really small like micro Cuban chain and then it has the silver tab on the back of the neck and just like a little clasp I normally wear this necklace with this other necklace right here Obviously, I don't really want to wear it with the leaks one So pairing up these two together looks really really nice the silver stone has a lot of different pendants and stuff So if you guys were looking for rings earrings necklaces the likes definitely go check out their website um, really really high quality stuff all sterling silver and then moving on to another like accessory pickup I guess this is actually a gift from my mom. So thank you mom But this is a pair of sunglasses from retro super future I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of that brand before but probably not in a while They haven't really done anything too too special um, but I think they got big from a Gosha collab like a year and a half to two years ago. But this right here is just a pair of the American sunglasses in black. I think black is the only color they come in, but it's really, really simple sunglasses. Nothing too crazy going on. I just really like the shape of them and they fit on my face nicely. When you buy sunglasses, I definitely recommend going to an actual store and trying them on. Just because everybody's face is a different shape and not all sunglasses work on everybody's face. This is what the pair looks like on me. I think this is like my ideal size. I like the overall like square shape of the frames. I didn't want anything too curvy. I believe these cost like $140 online. I think some sites have them for $180, so kind of a little bit expensive, but nonetheless, really, really nice sunglasses. The quality is very, very nice. They have a little gold detailing too on the inside. On the inside right there, it says Retro Super Future. So yeah, I will definitely be wearing these a lot in the summertime. I don't have any other sunglasses at the moment, and these just obviously go with any outfit. So very, very happy with that. Thank you, mom. Moving on to some clothing pickups. I want to show you guys two t-shirts. I have never talked about these t-shirts on my channel, but I've worn them so much. Like these are easily my most worn items in my wardrobe. These are from Bare Knuckles and these are the inside out t-shirt. I have a white one right here and then a black one, which is more like a charcoal, honestly. It's a very, very dark gray. And what makes these t-shirts really cool is that they're actually like supposed to be worn inside out. So around the neckline, it's probably easier to see on the white one. Around the neckline, it's all like flipped inside out. You could wear it normally if you want to. It'd just be a basic white t-shirt. But the idea is that you're supposed to wear it inside out. And the back side right there has the bare knuckles stamped tag. These t-shirts are also single stitch too for that like vintage look and feel. There's also really subtle distressing too around the sleeve hems and bottom hem of the shirt. A lot of you guys have been asking me like where do I get my t-shirts from? Bare knuckles easily is the best place to get your like basic t-shirts from. I believe they've been put through a bunch of washes and then left out to dry in the sun for five days. So it's a very, very like stiff t-shirt. For size reference, these are both XL and I've been wearing them a lot. You can check my old videos. You can check my posts on Instagram. I'm most of the time wearing one of these t-shirts. One pickup that I'm adding after I filmed the video since I completely forgot to include it. But this vest right here is also a new pickup of mine. This is a piece from Jacob Hetzer and his brand Jacob Hetzer Archive. And this is easily one of my favorite pieces just to throw on any outfit. It is essentially a reversible tactical like fishing vest type thing, except it does have a similar cut to a waistcoat, which is really, really cool. Some details on this side of the vest is that it has uh, four angled zips that kind of like go up in an arrow shape, which is really, really cool. And these zips are all really, really super high quality and the pockets are all really nice and big too. And then there's also adjustable straps right there. You guys can see them right there. So if you want to make a tighter fit, you could. And there's the same strap on the other side. And there's also a scalloped back too, which is a detail I did not know this had, but I really like that detail. And then on this side, there's also three uh, pockets. I think one of them has a strap too. But if you weren't really a fan of this side too much, you could also flip it over. And here's what the other side looks like, completely different from the front side. This side has two vertical zips on the like button lining right there. 
really, really big pocket. Like my hand goes all the way back there. Huge, huge pocket. And then there's also a like normal pocket right there. It's black stitching on this like tan cotton ripstop material. And then on the back side, I believe there's nothing. Yeah, there's nothing on this side. So this side is definitely a lot more simple than the other side. But I think I like the other side a little bit more, but I still flip it inside out. Moving on to a pair of jeans I just got a few days ago. These are, I know I say this a lot, but easily my favorite pair of jeans in my wardrobe right now. Like that's a heavy statement. I have a lot of pairs of jeans and these are just so, so nice. So what I have right here are the Marcel Everett contrast stitch, J cut overlock stitch jeans. It's a very long title, but that's kind of like all the major details about it. So I do have a pair of these jeans in a different colorway right here. This is a oil washed denim with like dark gray stitching. And this one right here was, uh, I believe he like sold these maybe like a year ago, probably a little bit less than that and they sold out. And I actually hit him up and he was gracious enough to make me a pair, even though he hasn't been selling them in a while. I love the contrast stitching. It just makes these jeans like kind of pop. If it was black stitching, wouldn't be nearly as good. The J cut is super interesting. As you guys can kind of see the legs do kind of bend out and then back in. It doesn't actually make your legs look like that. It just stacks in a very interesting way. These are extremely long too. I believe the inseam is something around like 36 on these and I did get a size 30 waist. The overlock stitching is a really, really nice detail. It's got nice silver buttons and a button fly right there. Hope you guys are able to catch that. And then the stitching goes over the pockets to like over the back pocket and over the uh, pocket watch pocket and then the normal pockets right there. I believe these are around like four and $500. These are both Japanese denim too, like very, very heavy ounces. So overall, a great piece. I've been wearing these so much. I've only had them for a few days and I've worn them almost every single day. And then at the same time I got those jeans, I also got a belt from Marcel Everett. This right here is the bison leather uh, like box nail belt, I forget what it's called, but essentially the actual like leather of the belt is made from bison leather, which is very, very expensive, but it has a super nice grain to it. And then for the actual buckle, it's made almost entirely out of these box nails, which is kind of like the signature design of a lot of Marcel Everett pieces. Um, whenever you buy something from the brand, you will get a little uh, box nail pendant you can put on a necklace if you want. But this belt, it has three of them all cast in sterling silver and it has another one right here for the actual buckle. So the idea is that when you put it around, you can just slide it through those three right there. And it just like a really, really nice detail. I've been looking for a really nice belt that can wear with almost every outfit. And this belt easily fits the bill. Such a, such a nice belt. It's very, it is very expensive, unfortunately, but it is all cast silver and it is also bison leather. And the box nails also have a little bit of like distressing and um, wear and tear put into them too. Really nice detail. This belt paired up with these jeans is such a nice look. I think I took a photo of that too. So I'll put that on screen for you guys. And then moving on to movies. I haven't gone out to see movies in a while, but some movies that I've seen at home, first one is Hereditary, which is a horror movie. Hereditary is a very good horror movie. Um, I think all of the cast members did a great job. It's kind of like a better version of The Babadook, in my opinion. I did not like The Babadook at all. I thought that was such a shitty movie. And this one's kind of like a mix between The Babadook and The Witch, or like the double V itch. It's basically about a grandmother of a family who has passed away and they kind of like uncover secrets about her being a cult leader. Kind of confusing. You could probably find it online for free if you look hard enough. That's how I watched it. And then I also got to see Bohemian Rhapsody. I believe they came out last year, but I finally got around to seeing that movie. Such a good movie. I'm not the biggest fan of Queen, but you don't have to be to watch the movie. It's just a really great movie overall. A great insight on Freddie Mercury's life. Um, and I think the lead actor did like a really good job at portraying him. I watched the concert scene at the end, which is like the um, the Live Aid thing for Africa, I believe that's what it was, but I could be wrong. Um, and I found a video on YouTube of somebody who like side by side put the movie next to the actual concert and they nailed everything. They put every single movement from the concert into the movie and they just did a great job. If you guys have any movie suggestions for me, please leave them down in the comments below. And then moving on to music, I don't have the music picked out right now, but I will just play a little bit from five of my favorite songs in this past month. So let's hop right into it. So 
And that's gonna do it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, it helps me out so much. And if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Let me know what you guys wanna see for my next video down in the comments below. And that's gonna do it for me, you guys. Peace out, have a good day, see you next time.